Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Megan, and we're back with a library book haul predictions video, the first of 2024. That's a four. <laughs> Alright, let's jump right into it. I'm excited because I'm finally getting some new library books. I feel like I have my last four library books for like ever because it took me forever to read them. We've got new ones now. I like that we've got like a ready, a ready, a reddish purple spine tinge happening here. Looks like it's going to be lots of fun. Some of the first book that I have is called Broken Beautiful Hearts by Camilla Garcia. Can't, Camilla? Camilla. Camilla Garcia. This is the cover. It is very pretty. So this does say this is uh, the New York Times bestselling co-author of Beautiful Creatures, which is what I thought but I couldn't remember. I remember reading Beautiful Creatures a long, long time ago when they were very popular and I feel like I had a love-hate relationship with those books because I'm like, they were good, but they were bad. I don't know how, I'm like, I don't have a lot of memory. To, I feel like I remember the plot was really good, but the characters were kind of eh, but we're not here to talk about that book. We're here to talk about this book. Um, this is a ya yeah book. It's a genuine shattering deep heart pounding love that's uh one of the quotes on the on the cover of this i don't know what, what this is about other than that it's pro it's a young adult book and it probably has a love story and that's as much as i know about it um this was i think on a goodreads list and that's why i'm i'm picking it up so we'll see what i think about this i honestly feel like i'm gonna end up rating this like three stars i don't see it being any higher than that but we'll see. Books can surprise me, especially young adult, because I never know what I'm going to get. So we'll see. The next book on my list was Woke Up Like This by Amy Lee. Look at this cover. It's so pretty. This is the first book that I'll be reading for Canada Reads 2024. Woo! The day that I'm uh, recording this, uh, my, 20, my ranking for 2023 books just went up, so... I'm getting a head start on these ones. We, uh, we, me, I am going to try and read these before the end of the year. I did really well in 2022 and last year I just fell off. I went down the deep end. So I'm hoping to read all of these before December. So I don't know what this is about, but it looks cool. Like these are balloons, like the, 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 the letters are in balloons and there's confetti on the cover. Um, but I don't know. Two high school seniors, will there be, bleh. Two high school s seniors. Okay, that's one sentence. Where will they be at 30? You'll find out tomorrow. Ooh, I like that. Especially because I just turned 30. And my balloon, my balloons are over here still. They have commitment issues because they, they keep following me everywhere I go. I'm surprised that it's staying over there because normally it would float towards me. But, oh, I'm so excited about this one now. Hmm. Okay, I want to rate this like, okay, I want to say four stars to be realistic, but I kind of want to rate it five stars, just, just for the vibes right now. That's where, I, that's where, I, that's where I'm at right now. So the next book on my list is Bad Cree by Jessica Johns. Book number two for the long list for Canada Reads 2024. I mean, there isn't a short list yet. The short list won't come out until March. I don't think I'm going to read all 15 books by March. But um, both of these books are long listed. I mean, I always read all of the long listed books. Either one of these could be short listed. I don't know yet. Um, but this one looks like it is a. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> that's my list of books that I took out because this book didn't want to be taken out from the library. It said no. I had to get someone manually at the library to take it out for me. Um, this looks like it's a indigenous read. I don't know anything about it. A haunting debut novel where dreams, family, and spirits collide. Well, that sounds kind of interesting. And, uh, looks like a lot of people really liked it. Ooh, I read Five Little Indians last year or the year before? No, it was 2022. It was Five Little Indians, right? Oh, I don't remember now, but I think so. And I liked that book by Michelle Good. And she wrote a nice blurb, so I will take that as a good sign that this will be a good book. I'm going to say four stars on this one, too. That's what I'm saying for this one. Whoops. Then the last book I have on my list is called American War by Omar L. Kad Kad my mouth. Akkad. What's wrong with me? And this is the cover. Oh, I 
Can you see the cover? Um, so I picked this one because, one, it starts with an A, and I wanted to try and do an alphabet. I tried to do an alphabet challenge last year, and I, for some reason, couldn't find a book for J. Who knew? There's a book on Canada Reads this year that has a J that starts with a J, so I will be getting to that letter this year. I'm excited. Um, I picked this one, but the ebook that I'm reading right now starts with an A, so I was like, well. <laughs> But I got this one off of my diverse, uh, diverse calendar. I was gonna say diverse reads, and I'm like, that makes sense. No, the calendar that I'm keeping from last year. So I don't know what this is about. In this fiery, audacious debut novel, jeesh, uh, Omar al Akkad takes us into a near future in which there's there's shiny there's a shiny thing on here so it's hard for me to read with the glare that's why i'm reading it like i'm a five-year-old um okay in, in which a politically polarized american descends into a second civil war and the warfare a family fights to survive y'all this takes place in 2074 oh okay i hate you i'm I, my interest has been piqued. I am very curious what the hell is gonna happen in this. I'm kind of afraid. I'm afraid, but I'm also curious. So, we'll see. I don't know what I want to rate this. I, I'm not a big fan of, like, war books. I, I mean, I know it says war. I know, I know. Um, I don't know. But this is, seems like it's, like, futuristic war. Which could potentially happen, which I really hope probably doesn't, but, hmm. I'm gonna say four. We'll see after I read it. Um, I don't know. If you've read any, if you've read this book, let me know in the comments below. But, if you've read any of these other books, you can also let me know in the comments below. Because I'd like to know what your thoughts are. And these are my last, my, my last, my next four library books that I can't wait to get to. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, a do your thing, and I will see you all in my next video. So thanks and bye guys!